Their Majesties called forward. Baroness Moira McGillivray, mistress of the Pelican. Would you like to come up or would you like to stay down? Which would you prefer? Come on up here, please. Sure. <laughs> That's where the entire populace is. <laughs> Your Majesties, I beg to learn of you at Christmas tourney. I ask that you put Gregory Bryant on vigil for the Pelican, which you did. Now I would ask that you induct him into the order of the Pelican. I beg that as a boon. Ask, and with the, if it's within our power and a proper thing, it shall be yours. Please ask, <coughs> induct Gregory Bryant into the order of the Pelican. Summit our most loyal companions of the order of the Pelican. <laughs> and teacher, the responsible hands of a regional marshal, the shepherding hands of a regional chatelaine, the gentle hands of a father, husband, and friend, the cordial hands crafting tasty beverages, the strong hands leading set up and tear down, the eager hands welcoming in neighbors and newcomers, the ready hands volunteering wherever needed, let us now raise our hands to honor and celebrate all these hands. They have served well. They will serve evermore. Thank you. So, noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Gregory Bryant is worthy to be elevated into the order of the Pelican. Aye! Is there a royal peer to speak on Gregory's nobility? Majesties, you might be tired of hearing from me today. No, nope. <laughs> Prince, please. It doesn't sound like a possible thing. <laughs> Your Majesties, Judge Populous of the Middle I would speak really to Gregory's grace. And I'd start off with that and then say that he gave me the most hidden filled moment <laughs> of a quick decision that I had during our reign. You see, I knew that Gregory had earned a bronze ring. And I had set up a court following the Red Battle. And I would arrange for Gregory's family to be there to see it. And in midway through the hour and a half long red battle, Gregory broke his thumb. <laughs> so here I am. Like, God, oh, you can't let him leave. He's got a broken thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory, let me, let me take your weapons for you. Let me just go over to those. But I need you to stay here. <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Not a custom 
stupid as I am at speaking at these affairs, <laughs> I am honored to speak for Gregory today. Prowess is synonymous with competency, something that is very important. Be good at a thing. Gregory is good at so many things, I lost count trying to write them down. <laughs> many people here have worn and are wearing his art for everyone to see. Many fencers he has trained for your army. Many lists he has marshaled. If I was to attempt to speak on all of the service he has done, we would be here a long time, and I understand we only have six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> captain, my captain. <laughs> Gregory does all of these things, and he does them quietly, competently, and without drama. He is a loyal servant of the crown, who can be counted on to just get it done and not add to the quotient of chaos, which I think personally is pretty important. And I think that the love all shown here and the words say it all more eloquently than I ever could. But I appreciate this man, and I am looking forward to his counsel in this order. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel who can attest to Gregory's arts and science? May I stand up? Yes. Absolutely. My voice has never heard. <laughs> I'm Master Jean Paul Pierpont, companion of the Oral. Laurel? <laughs> That's a lot of travel does to you, and of the Pelican, and a bunch of other suits. Most of you know me, I'm a fair joker, but I'll get serious for a few moments. Knowing Gregory like I do, it's kind of interesting. Huh. Pelican, is it an art or is it a science? Think about it. You're doing art and it's already been expressed. What has been touched in the art field? But even that is it a science to touch the souls of everybody with service. Interesting. You never think about it. When you look around, Gregory's doing this. <coughs> Even in my shop. I gotta go. We got a, we got a uh, reindeer thing going on. Gone. Comes back, wore up. Yes. What, what, what can I make for you? What can I do for you? It's an art and a science. I get to see all the sides of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now. <laughs> so, I had 120 pages of notes, but my dog ate them. <laughs> and it would went past six minutes. <laughs> There's people more eloquent. Mine is from the soul. And that's what a pelican is. It is the soul of the SCA. I know the few that's got to travel. Ten kingdoms, and I've got to see many kingdoms, and many workers, and many populists give their heart and soul to the society. Your Majesty, got one sitting right there. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Is there a companion of the pelican who will attest to Gregory's service? Yes, Your Majesty, yes. there is. Yes, please. Please, yeah. I am Torkel McGillivray, Master of the Pelican. I have known Gregory just short of three decades. When I met him, he was working. He was on the field, uh, and he was the uh, marshal of the list. And as we got to know each other, he became a good friend. And he continued to do work every time I saw him. He was marshalling, he was a group officer, switching them out here and there as the case needed. Uh, he was also one of the first people to jump up when somebody needed something buried, or something needed setting up, or tearing down, or clean. As 
time went by, his jobs got bigger and bigger. He started doing uh, merchant liaison a lot. He was autocrat. Anything that needed to be done, Gregory was willing to stand up and do it. And he was still the first one to jump up and pick something up, or set something up, or tear it down. And now, he's got to get here on time, <laughs> because he's got jury meetings. <laughs> I have known Gregory a long time. He is my peer, and I commend him to you. Thank you very much. Is there a master of defense who will attest to Gregory's courage and honor? Reading glasses. <laughs> Greg? Greetings, Your Majesty. The assembled dignitary in the noble populace of the Middle Kingdom. Uh, my name is Kai Tsang, and I'm a master of defense. As a, my friend Adam said, you know, one of the things that we strive for in the order of is this air of study carelessness, right? We make hard things look easy. And while we, many of us have the opportunity to swear that we will serve or serve the mind, Greg, you've taken this to another level entirely. Over the years that I've been, had the privilege of calling you my friend, I have known you to be a vigilant marshal, a frequent behind-the-scenes presence, whose work and leadership has made multiple events go smoothly, and above all, a kind soul who is always there for people who, no matter what they need. And any of these qualities will stand to test to your character. But I want to talk about something else. Uh, one of the most important things that I believe we can do as peers is to serve as ambassadors of the society to the populace. Now, and most importantly, to the populace to be. The people who are sitting there on the outside wondering, is this dream something that I can share? And no matter where we come from, this is something that we all have to do. Because without new blood, without new passion, <coughs> we wither away and die. And when I became a master of defense, I wanted to show the society that there's a place where our actions can speak for us and that we can all be recognized for what we do and who we are when we bring our entire selves to the society. And I asked you to make this without me. Because I wanted, it, I wanted to show that kid who's sitting out there wondering, is this a place for me? Am I safe here? Is this my hope? That yes, yes it can be. And we are here to make that happen. Gregory, you have made these for me. You made them for my husband and so many other people. So that we can show the world that what the dream should be like. And that the SCA is a place where everyone is welcome, no matter who they are and where they have come from. And for that alone, I love about everything else you're going to do. And your majesties, I have a lot of other stuff to say, but six minutes in. It's a to you as your Mindful of your service to society and the responses and wishes of your peers, we are resolved to create you a master of the pelican, which creature will nourish her young when necessary with blood from her own breast, and therefore has been chosen to be the most appropriate symbol of service to our society. Therefore, will you, Gregory, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order as you most, uh, most surely have till now. Will you increase your labors nobili nobly, increase your talents as benefits one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? You will always train any dependents you may have to serve as you are served. I will. Medallion. Is there a medallion? Then take from this, from her hand, this symbol of your nobility and token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that, it may, uh, that all may recognize your service 
as we have acknowledged this day. What is it? May I? Please go ahead. Give it to six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Province. The lineage of the ancient and honorable constellation Pelican Medallion. In the ancient days, the Middle Kingdom was gifted with large brass pelican medallions whose origins are shrouded in mystery. <laughs> Although this medallion was not given to the first constellation pelican, it was first given to the illustrious Duke Mungo and can trace its lineage through constellation pelicans of great fame. Mistress Thorhalla, out of deep respect for Master Sigel, whom she passed the medallion to, had the ancient medallion blessed at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Here's the lineage as we have it. Moonwolf, Garrick, John, Takaya, Kirsten, Erenval, Thorhalla, Sigel, Kenna, Kaelin, Magdalena, and then unfortunately lost for an age, but returned to the hands of Maggie, Hadley, Fergus, Odette, Sarah, Elaine, Helenor, Akalon, and now Gregory Bryan. Is there a cat? There is, Your Majesty's. Gregory, wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. Here's for a field can do homage. The crown of the Middle Kingdom. Serve the crown in all things. Remember courtesy and kindness. To prize justice above personal gain. To labor for the common good, to enrich, to enrich the kingdom and society, so they can flourish and grow, and to be worthy of the title of Pelican. Hereby, my honor and heart swear I, Gregory Bryan. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor. And with justice. Gregory, in remembrance of your liege. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just did this. Yeah. Sorry. In remembrance of oaths previously given and received. Remembrance of your lineage and your leash. Be thou a good pelican. Rise. Volunteer, 
and does not waver in his courtesy to any, no matter how high or humble. With these labors, we do create and advance him to the most noble title and degree of Master of the Order of the Pelican, to be in all places of honor numbered a peer of our realm, with all rights and responsibilities. Master Gregory, newest member of the Order of the Honor 